Hey there, today I want to show you how to contribute to an open source project by just using the GitHub website. Uh, Jovo is an open source project, so that means you can uh, see the source code and you can actually contribute to the source code uh, by proposing changes, changes to either the core code or, or even the docs, for example. Uh, a lot of people ask us, uh, what's the easiest way to get started contributing? So if they don't know anything about Git, for example, it can be quite daunting. Like where, where do I get started? Where do I learn more about how to make changes, propose changes uh, with a pull request? And uh, this is why today I want to show you uh, what's the easiest way to get started is by just using the GitHub web interface. So if you go to the docs, for example, on the Java website, uh, I found one mistake um, in the app configuration page. So if I go down to Java app structure here, see that there's a slash missing uh, here at models uh, to indicate that it's a folder actually and not a file. And so um, notice that we now have on the, on the Java docs, we have an edit on GitHub button here. So if I click this, this takes me to um, the right GitHub page. So this is a markdown page. We store all our docs as a subfolder in the Java framework uh, repository. Here you can see um, that model here is without a slash. And so I would like to make a pull request now that makes this very tiny change. And what I need to do first is I need to create a fork. Uh, so a fork is a version of this repository that's then sitting in my account. So I can do like any changes to this fork and it doesn't affect the main repository um, in the Jovo Tech account um, until I make a pull request and propose those changes to the maintainers of the open source project. So let's do a fork. So if I click fork here, this lets me choose which account to fork into. So I, I use my uh, Jan Koenig account and now it's forking the project there. So as you can see here to the left, um, it's now called Jan Koenig uh, Java Framework Node.js and it's forked from the Java Tech account. So here you can see uh, that um, we now have the same repository, uh, we have the same branches, so I'm on the master branch and I can now make changes to this. So the next step is to go to the docs, go to app configuration and the readme markdown file and I can make the changes here. And the good thing about GitHub is you don't really need to uh, pull this to your um, to your local computer, open up your text editor or your, your IDE, make those changes and commit them and so on. Uh, for simple changes, you can actually just uh, use the web editor provided by GitHub. So I can click the edit this file button here and make the changes here right away. So uh, for example, here I can just add the slash and then um, I can even preview the changes. So uh, you can see the changes here, very, very simple. And, uh, and that's it. And um, I can then update this uh, with the commit. So I just updated the, the app configuration docs. Um, and uh, what we use, we use Gitmoji. So whenever uh, we do updates to the docs, for example, uh, we use this emoji to indicate that it's just changes about the docs and no code changes. And so I can now uh, commit these changes and you can see that that is already up to date uh, here. Okay, so if I go now go back to um, to the main page of this repository, you see that I'm uh, my branch is one commit ahead uh, of the master uh, branch in the main repository, and so now um, I can make a pull request and to uh, let um, the maintainers of the open source project know that uh, that I have made changes and that I would like to have these changes merged into the main repository. And I can just do this by clicking the button new pull request here. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this is trying to merge into the base uh, fork here, um, Java Tech. Um, and, and you can see the changes that I made here. And now I can create the pull request. And then you can tell the maintainers what changes you wanted to do. So for example, um, update docs and then probably get rid of all of this here and uh, because it's not a code update uh, we can just 
um, use that here and then create pull request. So and if I'm now here at JovoTech, uh, you can see that we have two pull requests um, and the, this one here is by me. And now I'm a maintainer of this project so I can merge it, but usually it's just the maintainers that, that can merge this. And usually there's some discussion going on here, but this is how easy it is to um, make changes to an open source project um, and contributing to it by, um, by just using the GitHub web interface. And this is a great introduction to how Git works, how pull requests, commits, pushes and pulls and so on work without having to struggle um, uh, with it by, by thinking about, oh, how do I get started with basically everything? And uh, a lot of people think that um, they need to do core changes to the code, like really go deep into the code to be contributors to an open source project, but we don't think so. Uh, there's a lot of people that are really helpful um, to the community by updating the docs, rewriting some stuff, even making just um, fixing typos and stuff like that um, because it's uh, an open source project is really more than just the core code. It's really everything surrounding it and helping people um, adopt the, the framework. So uh, thanks a lot for considering to contribute to Jovo and see you soon on GitHub.